creatures of our God <coughs> Lift up your voice and with us sing. of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia. You're all very welcome this morning to join this uh, celebration of this Easter Mass on online. Uh, we hope and we trust that you're all doing well. There's a great emphasis in the Holy Spirit in today's readings, the spirit of love, the spirit of courage, the spirit of healing. Let's uh, bring our sins to God and ask for his healing spirit to take them away and also to bring healing to all those who are suffering from the pandemic. Lord Jesus, you are our resurrection and our life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our hope and our salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the divine healer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. And we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by Paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our Heavenly Maker. And we ask this through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God in one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertained folly. The kings of the earth took to their stand, and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit 
and continue to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are, are all who take, take refuge in, in the, the Lord. Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all, all who take who refuge, take in, refuge the Lord. in the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, but no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's wombs and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is his spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. It's uh, wonderful to hear the alleluias. They bring a little joy into our lives. And also the beautiful Paschal candle here in the, next to the altar, very powerful symbol of Christ, the light of the world, especially in this dark world today. You probably have noticed that uh, we have been reading from the Acts of the Apostles. That means, what did the apostles do? after the resurrection, the actions of the apostles, the acts of the apostles. Uh, yesterday, one of the readings, the first reading was about how the early Christians lived, the pristine church. Uh, they were given to um, participating in the teachings of the apostles, the word of God, breaking open the word. Also, community life, helping one another, reaching out, and uh, helping the poor and the powerless. And uh, also the breaking of the bread, the Eucharist. That's what it was called back then, the breaking of the bread. 
and uh, then prayers, prayers. You know, when you come to think of it, that's the blueprint for the church today, for our faith community here at Sacred Heart and for the entire church. The Word of God, community life, faith community, uh, Eucharist, breaking of the bread, and prayers, prayers. We notice that in the readings today, at the um, first reading, Peter and John were preaching, but there was tremendous opposition to them, tremendous opposition. And nevertheless, they hung in there. They, they preached with uh, courage and perseverance. They were not afraid because they were filled with the Spirit. They were filled with the Spirit. The last lines on that first reading are, the place where they gathered shook. It shook as they prayed. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak of God with confidence. Isn't that powerful? It reminds me of Pentecost, the strong driving wind with the coming of the Holy Spirit. And then, of course, in the gospel today, we have the um, elder, the Israelite elder, and um, he was certainly set in his ways and very conservative and filled with um, uh, a great feeling about himself, power and prestige and so on and so forth. And um, he asked, um, or Jesus said, unless you're born from above, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Unless you're born from above, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And he kind of gave a glib answer. How can a person who is older enter his mother's womb and be born again? And Jesus made it very quite clear he said, I solemnly assure you, solemnly, this is very, very important. I solemnly assure you, no one can enter God's kingdom without being born of water and the spirit. Nobody can be born of, into God's kingdom unless he is born of water and the spirit. So what was Jesus saying to that elder? He was saying, you've got to be converted. You've got, got to go through a whole change of attitude, change of lifestyle, change of life. You have to embrace the, the new way that the Lord has brought and not hanging on to these old uh, values that you have. It was a call to conversion, a call to conversion, uh, a call to embrace a new life. And of course, we know that baptism is so important for us. We we'll always ask for our baptism certificate. And when we're receiving other sacraments, that's the most important thing in our lives, is our baptism. It's not our graduation. It's not our wedding. It's not our ordination. Even all those things are very good. It's our baptism. We take on a new identity. We are one with Christ in his death and resurrection. So the spirit is very, very important. It comes into our lives at baptism. And the Holy Spirit is very important today in our world to try to bring us comfort and joy and healing in body, mind, and spirit. And the world is in need of that today, healing, especially this deadly virus. So I'd like to encourage you just a little practical point. 
pray, come Holy Spirit, frequently. Come Holy Spirit. That's a powerful prayer. Prayer is so important, and we've got a lot of time these days. And I'm glad that you are with us for the Mass and the Rosary. These are very, very wonderful things. Great. But try to continue to pray that prayer, Come Holy Spirit. Or if there are children and young people there, Come Lord Jesus. They know that off by heart. Beautiful prayer. I was going to say, please stand, but you don't have to. Let's do the intercessions for all church leaders and all government leaders that they may lead us all in difficult times with wisdom and prudence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For, for uh, a fresh recep receptivity to the Holy Spirit in each of our lives for the grace to believe wholeheartedly. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with doubt, fear, grief, and isolation, that they may be gentle with themselves during these difficult times and that the Holy Spirit of consolation will visit them with his grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for people serving in health care and our military personnel who are working side by side and in harm's way for all who are ill and for all the sick members of our parish family. We pray especially for two people who are very ill, Leah Dredge and also Jesus Rodriguez, that the Lord may bring comfort, peace, and healing to all of them and all the sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may grant the peace of heaven to the soul of Dr. Lance Parks and for all of our departed loved ones. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we lift up these prayers through the intercession of Mary, God, our loving Father. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou among women, women and, and blessed, blessed is, the is the fruit of thy, thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Wind and breezes soft, oh clouds that ride the wind aloft, sing your praises, hallelujah. Oh rising morn in praise rejoice, oh lights of evening find a
my sisters and brothers pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and with more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this, this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one 
by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church, Lord, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, John, his assistant bishop, with all the clergy, the religious, those consecrated to your service, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are, are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a gesture of peace. God, you take away the sins of the takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Be healed.
communion. My Jesus, I am in need of the peace that you give. I have known times of great belief and times when I long for proof, even as your love is already proved to me in your life, death, and resurrection. Come to me in your mercy, my Lord and my God. I love you and I want to grow ever closer to you. I want to receive you into my soul. I long to receive you again at the table of the Eucharist, where I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. But since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart where I embrace you and I unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be separated from you. Keep me close in your sacred heart. Jesus, I trust you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I forgot during the uh, prayers of the faithful to pray for all of the children, in particular of our parish school, who are starting today the online teaching, and all the teachers and helpers. Uh, it's a very, very wonderful they can do that. A beautiful article in the local paper recently. And uh, we also pray for all the children who are working at home and um, studying and learning online 
and the youth, and also people who are in college. Uh, I know that uh, this is totally different, but uh, thanks be to God, we wish you well and uh, keep up your homework. That would be great. And thank you all for joining us for this liturgy here this morning. And uh, we thank our ministers, Jim and uh, the two ladies, Brianna and uh, Jean. Did you drive up from Imperial Beach? That's a long ways. All of you had to do is get up and just watch the mass. <laughs> so you'll be doing it on your own now one of these days. So have a, have a very good day. Just keep up the spirits. We're all in this together. And uh, keep safe, keep healthy, and I guess stay home. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, radiating the joy of the gospel. Thanks be to God. God. Regina, Jane.